We are going to build an app that will solve the biggest mystery of our time, Kirk or Picard. We're going to do it without writing any code, and we're going to do it crazy fast. When we're done, that app will run on iOS, Android, web, and desktop. Let's begin. You see in front of you the Illumination Software Creator main screen. This is where your application is designed. You'll notice three blocks on the screen. The application launched block that says, hey, I'm an application and I just started. An application quit block that says, hey, quit this application, stop running it. And you see a default window block. This is a window that you can design to look like and do whatever you like. In order to design that window, simply double click on the window block or select the window block and click the design window button. Up pops the illumination window editor. Here you can design the window to look like whatever you like. You notice on the left a number of controls for you to use, such as buttons, labels, text boxes, and more. For now, let's bring a button over to the window. Simply click and drag the button to the window and place it wherever you like. I'm going to stick mine down here in the middle somewhere. Now let's add a canvas to the window. Let's grab the canvas on the left and drag it over to the right. Put it anywhere you like in the window. I'm going to again stick mine in the middle somewhere. And let's change the height and the width properties to 200. This is 200 pixels by 200 pixels. The pictures we are going to use in a moment are all 200 by 200, and I will provide them uh, for download on the website. Now the window is done. Of course, we can name it whatever we like, so let's go ahead and give it uh, a fancy text name, such as Kirk or Picard. See, very fancy. Now let's go ahead and click OK. Oh, first, let's name that button. So go ahead and select that button, go over to the text, and type Choose Wisely, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to make the width a little bit wider, just for the heck of it, and put it kind of generally in the middle here. I'm going to click OK. Our window is now done and created. Now, what do we do next? Well, if we're going to choose between Kirk and Picard, we're going to need Kirk and Picard pictures. So let's go ahead and open the image library. Simply click on the image library button on the top toolbar, and up pops the image library. You'll notice I have already supplied a Kirk image. Well, we can go ahead and add more images by simply clicking the Add Image button and browsing to wherever you happen to have images stored, supported as either JPEG or PNG. I'm going to select this Picard.png here, open that, and boom! We now have Kirk and Picard images. Very fancy, high-tech, and multimedia. Let's close the image library now, come back here to the window, and come up with some logic here. Now, what we really should do is create a random choice between the two. So let's go ahead and create some variables to store that information. To start with, let's go ahead and store a creative variable. Click on the plus button down here underneath variables and let's call it random choice. And let's make it a variable type of number with the default of zero. Now that basically says, hey, I'm a number and I'm zero unless someone tells me otherwise. Click OK. Now let's create a few more variables that I'll show you what we're going to do with in a moment. Let's create one that we call zero as a number, also a zero. Let's create another one that is uh, 100 with a, net, with a default value of 100. And let's create one more variable of 50 with a default value of 50, also a number variable. Now what are these for? We're going to use these because we're going to create a random number between 0 and 100. Uh, so let's go here on the left and select numbers from the drop down box and drag the random selection over here to the main illumination window and you now have a random block. Now when you select the random block you'll notice that on the right a set of properties appear that tells the block how to behave. In this case, we set this variable, well, let's set random choice to a random number between this lower number, uh, let's go with zero, and this higher number, let's go with 100. Nice and simple. Now this will generate a random number between zero and 100, and set the variable that we created named random choice to that number. Very straightforward. But how on earth could that block 
that random number block possibly be executed? Well, let's go ahead and drag a line between this little dot called this output for the button clicked on the window to the input of the random block. Now when the button that we created on the window is clicked, a random number is generated. Very cool. But what to do next? Well, we now need to create some logic. We need an if-then block. So select logic from the drop-down list on the left. Drag over the if-then block anywhere you like. You can place it wherever you want. And let's connect these two up. So when the random number is done generating, let's connect it to the if-then block. We will then check it. So let's say here, if this number, random choice, is let's say greater than 50. Aha, that's why we created that 50 variable over there. So basically half the time it will be true and half the time it will be false. Then we want to do something. Well, what do we want to do? We want to set the canvas to a picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag two set canvas picture blocks from the user interface section on the left to the area here connect one to the true and one to the false. So what we're basically saying is if random choice is bigger than 50, that's true, then we, use, we go with this set canvas block. If it's false, if it's less than 50 or equal to 50, we use this set canvas block. So what do we do with those set canvas blocks? Well, go ahead and select one and you'll notice another set of properties appear on the right. And it says on this window, let's select the window, set this canvas well we just have one canvas but we can have multiple but in this case we'll just select the canvas to this picture Kirk or Picard well let's set it to Kirk and let's select the other canvas on this window window on this canvas that canvas and on this picture Picard well now let's walk this through when we click the button a random number is generated if that random number is bigger than 50 set that picture to Kirk if that number is less than 50, well, so let's set it to Picard. Wait a minute. I do believe we might be done. Let's go ahead and build this app for, whoa, look at all of these options. Let's build it for HTML5 and web. Bam. It just popped up. No, there's no smoke and mirrors, ladies and gentlemen. It just is that fast. We go ahead and see this nice little HTML application here. Let's go ahead and open that up in our web browser, and boom. What you see here is a standard web browser popping open, and this looks an awful lot like a desktop application. And you see our Choose Wisely button. Let's click it. Well, it looks like our software has chosen Picard. Oh, but this time it chose Kirk, and then Picard, and then Kirk. Oh, Kirk again. Well, Kirk is in the lead now. Picard is back and head. Oh, they are now neck and neck. See how fun this is. Now what's great is we can come back here, say Build, and I want to build this for, let's say, Android. Boom. What we just did is we just built this application for Android. This created a complete pro set of project files and source code so we could turn around and build and compile this project for Android and even submit it up to the Android Marketplace, or sorry, the Google Play Store. We could do the same thing for iPhone or iPad. Boom. We clicked Build, iPhone, iPad. Shazam! We have a complete set of project files that you can load in Xcode on a Macintosh and build for iOS. The same is true for Flash and for uh, desktop applications as well. All without writing any code. All super doggone easy and just a ton of fun. Hold on, I'm going to click the button a few more times. Oh man, it's really loving Kirk. It's really loving Kirk. Oh, a little bit of Picard. Well, make it so. Man, that's fun. I could do this all day.